Now, mount your camera on a tripod using landscape. You can decide to use portrait for this particular video. You get my point. Uh -huh. So, you don't even need to record an empty background for this video. All you need to do is to follow this step. You first of all, point out your finger. Then, you use two hands as if you are trying to control something in the middle. Then, you expand it a bit. You get my point. Now, you turn it upside down. Make sure you expand it like the way you see. Then, you use your finger to like try to lift something then you open your hand you try to push something i don't know if you get my point <laughs> so when you are done with all this you save your video to your gallery and head over to CapCut. now on CapCut, click on new project and import the video you just recorded now click on the mute clip audio right here to mute the background noise you get my point and you can also confirm that if you tap on the video layer now go and look for volume when you click on volume you see it's zero you get my point uh -huh. that means there is no sound in the background and uh, you get my point uh -huh. so now what you do when the character walks in we want to set on how we want our video to start you get my point so before the character raises his finger you tap on the video layer now what you do you go and look for split you get my point so when you click on split then you will delete the beginning of the video because this is how we want the video to start you get my point uh -huh. so now we want to add the effect you get my point uh -huh. so this particular effect if you want this effect please dm me just chat me on whatsapp i will leave my whatsapp number in the description of this video you get my point uh -huh. so i will send it to you so now we've brought the effect right here now make sure this effect comes in when the character is trying to point the finger understand you see the way it is like this uh -huh, just like what you see on your screen so you try to follow it step by step so you will get it so as you can see it's a black screen e effect so what you need to do right here, tap on the effect layer that's the second layer now click on splice uh -huh. now select filter the second one then tap ok you get my point uh -huh. so you can just position it where your finger is i don't know if you get my point just like what you see me do right here on screen just use your finger to position it where your finger is. I don't know if you get my point. <laughs> so guys, if you are getting value from this video, don't forget to hit the like button. You know, when you do that, YouTube will distribute this video to a larger audience. And from there, we will grow. You know, we need to grow. You get my point? Uh -huh. So now, this particular point here, you need to pay attention because of the timing understand because of the timing you know as you can see now before i open my hands everything is gone the knives everything the sword is gone so what you need to do from here is the the video is not that complicated but i'll advise you to watch it step by step so from this part where i point the finger understand i will have to tap on the main video layer and click on split now on this other side go to speed so i'll increase the speed so that when once I try to open my hand, it will align with when the effect is multiplying. I don't know if you get my point. So it will be something like this. When I'm when I open my hand, look at it there. Understand? So you'll be playing around with the speed button, the speed icon. So as you can see, you still need adjustment. So from this point, I increase the speed. To 2.0 yes but you can leave it there at 2.0 because it will affect the ending part of the video like where this character is trying to make the knife turn understand so from this part here the adjustment depends on how you record the video understand I don't know if you get my point so you can split it then you reduce the speed then check if it will align with the movement of your hand if it does then you do it the main thing right here is to play around with the speed button i don't know if you get my point so you try it it's simple yeah it's simple i don't know if you understand what i'm saying if you get my point let me know you get my point in the comment section so now let me know what you want me to teach in my next video you get my point and if you've been commenting and you've not been seeing me 
um, making tutorial on what you ask for please keep reminding me and make sure you have you subscribe to my channel and you've been liking my videos and you've been commenting on my videos because when I check and you've not been commenting on my videos you've not been liking my videos and you're not even my subscriber guys I might not pin your comment I don't know if you get my point in uh here. -huh. So for you to be eligible, so I'll be posting tutorials, what you want me to post, just like I've been doing. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you comment on my videos, not just this particular video on my videos. Then you like my videos. You get my point. You can also share my videos. So that's just it, guys. So with all this, you are good to go. Understand? This is not something difficult. This is something you anyone can do. This. So I made a video on how to stop and reverse a moving car. You get my point. Uh -huh. So the link is up here. So if you want to learn how to create that type of video, you can watch this video right here. You get my point. Uh -huh. So guys, when you are done with all this, you are good to go. You can add your effects. You can add any sound of your choice. Then you can now export your video to your gallery, and you are good to go. You get my point? Uh -huh. So, see you in our next video. Ha 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 ha.